welcome to selenium with c has training session 26 in today's session i will discuss how we can pass random values in input text field so pass random values in every execution is really important when the application has duplicate validation so in every execution user have to pass a unique value in the input field we can write a C hash program to generate random value in a string, number, or any other format according to the requirement. Suppose the real time say, I am giving you a real example. Suppose say you need to log into application with different ID and password. If you given the password next time, it will be throwing the error, right? Because of the, uh, because already existing. Suppose you need to create a new user ID right with details name id user mail right mobile number everything so you cannot give right duplicate value there otherwise it will throw the error that it's already existing in the system right so for example when user is automatic a registration form where they need to pass a username which accepts only a unique value if user pass the same value then it will show a message record already exists in these cases their test cases is executed only once. So when user run it for the second time, they will face the issue record already exists. So that is the reason if you want to uh, write log into the systems or maybe you need to create a user ID. So few of the important details should be unique in nature, right? Your name, your email ID, your uh, mobile number, everything. So duplicate value will not be allowed. So how uh, in the real time automation, then how you will rally the unique value right how you will create the unique value so suppose your alphabet or the string part can be constant your email part can be constant right but the mediator part you want to fill with some random number decimal value or the byte value right or other string value then how can you generate it number so user can use the random class available in c has to generate a random number which they are using in their random email id suppose say i want to in the Facebook login page, I want to add random email ID every time. So where username or the at the rate gmail.com or at the rate specifies hotmail.com or at the rate yahoo.com will be common, right? So I need to just change the number. Suppose say your name is com common, right? Suppose say your uh, username is Ram. Ram and at the rate gmail is common. But here I need to give random number. One was one, like next is five, next is eleven, like that only, right? So that we can generate it. So here you can see that we will be creating a uh, object correction for the random class. After that, we are converting that that one to the re re relevant uh, either it's uh, kind of integer or byte or double. We can convert it. And after that, you can see here we are giving ten thousand. So means that that the whatever number will be integer number will be generated. It will be range of within a range of zero to nine 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 nine. Right. So the value should be 0 to less than 10,000. Any value it can be taken. Sometimes it can take 5, sometimes it can take 1,000, sometimes it can take 8,000 8, like that. Okay, But it should not cross. It should not be below 0 or it should not be more than 9999. Okay? So that's why you can create the random value, right? And we can pass it in the, uh, uh, in the uh, user text field, right? So let's try to automate the Facebook page. So uh, we are already in the Visual Studio. Okay, where we have town try, try to enter the URL for the Facebook page. So we are launching the browser first, we are maximizing the browser and we are trying to uh, add the value Facebook. Sorry. So <coughs> we are trying to try to open the Facebook page. Once the page is fully loaded, we will identify the email field. So uh, I can inspect it. So it email for the email field, right? ID and password uh, is email. ID is email and name is email. So I can create a web element right uh, called uh, email text I can identify the element with the help of driver dot find element right either by name or ID by dot name so what will be the name here name is the email so I can take it and I can identify it with the help of name then close with second bracket and also need to close with another first bracket sorry semicolon in the first bracket right then what we'll be doing it for passing the random value i'll be calling the random class okay 
so random okay you can see that's why i can create it let accept it let's press tab to accept it so we can create a object condition for the random class here i can create a random uh, variable right then we need to convert it right with the relevant integer or decimal whatever you are doing suppose say next you try to press that one right you did try to use that one and press dot you could see right lot of thing is coming either next or next byte or next double so you can convert it to uh, i mean integer or bytes or double value right if you want to take the get type of the thing you can get the type right after converting it so suppose i want to convert it some integer value right so here i will be giving next you can see the time is integer return type is integer right so i need to store here i i want i can give the value right for the random suppose say i want to uh, give maximum 1000 so it will value will take till uh, 0 to 999 900, 999 it will take right i need to store in some integer integer um, random integer okay that is my variable so you can see that's coming correctly fine right similarly if you want to give it one lakhs you can give to a zero right so value will be zero to ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine right so that's so it will be behave now if you want to enter some value right in the email field right so it will you can enter it so suppose say uh, one part will be constant right so suppose in the sense key suppose say my name will be constant right and then I want to concatenate with the number, random integer. So it will be number, so no need to give in the second bracket because the number only the variable we need to give it. Then I want to again add, right, something called gmail.com or hotmail.com like that or your organization mail structure.com. Right? So that's why I will try to enter the random value, right? Okay, so that is the email text field. Oh, I need to use dot send keys, dot send keys. Okay, you can see. So we are trying to navigate to the URL, right? We are trying to identify the text field, right? Where we need to enter the random value, right? With the name or uh, with the ID, I can uniquely identify the email text field, right? Uh, I mean email field where I am getting the variable called email text in the IOA element, right? Class. Then I am creating object condition for the random class. Then whatever variable I am creating for the random, random class, I can convert it, suppose say byte or uh, like uh, uh, double or the integer value. So as I am converting it to integer with the help of the next uh, methods, right? Which is big, like here I am uh, providing the variables, its total is 1 lakhs. Means the value can be taken from 0 to 99,999. If you give 1000 so it will take the uh, value 100 it will take the value from 0 to 99 right so that's why the value will take not more than 99 or not less than 0 we'll try to give 100 here so it will after that email text field i am i'm trying to pass send keys suppose this part will be fixed my, every time but i want to change the number and gmail type gmail also will be fixed right so that's why i can enter uh, use the random number right generation part okay let's try to run the code and let's see so that's why every time unique value will be created specially for the number part and harathan and the other eligible part will be fixed so that every you no need to worry right in case you need to create uh, some of the user right with this number also so that every time you will get some new number right so that's why it will work so instead of hard coding everything you can just vary the numeric part right so you can see here after opening the page it will identify the email field and it will enter the uh, value here Haradhan and the number will be 0 to 99 any value and at the rate of gmail.com So it is trying to um, opening the browser Chrome browsers once the browser is open it will uh, maximize the browser it will pass the URL for Facebook page it will identify the email field and then with the help of random class right it will enter the value haradhan and the number and the right address you can see here 95 is getting entered right it is random number any number can be generated next time if you run it it can be vary right so this is the way it is working now say instead of uh, here you have the value right 100 
right you can give 1000 10000 and 1 lakh so it will be number will be from 0 to 99999 like that okay let's try to run the code again and let's see how the number is getting generated so that is the reason you will be writing one time but your number will be generated automatically random nine and random number will be generated and you know need to be worry so definitely your thing will be unique in nature right so no duplicate thing will be generated right instead of in case you are doing hard code so everything same time right every time all the same value will be there but here if you use some kind of variable where it will be generating the random number and range can be anything based on the input you are giving it it can be range and even it can be decimal it can be like byte it can be integer value like that you can convert the random number you can see 16,483 is coming the value will be 0 to 99,999 but 16,483 is coming this part is fixed and this part is fixed so that's why you can generate the right uh, random number okay so you can use the random class to generate random number after that you can instead of hard coding everything you can just change the numeric part and every time it will generate the new value and you can enter the value required value in your uh, uh, i mean text field right or in input field that's all for today's session thank you